Law & Order SVU remains one of television's top dramas after decades on the air, but there are certainly a lot of facts about Law & Order SVU and its star Mariska Hargitay that you didn't know. There are loads of fascinating secrets from behind the scenes of Law & Order SVU, from the secrets of its conception to the origins of its major characters' names. Stick around for some of the most interesting behind-the-scenes secrets fans probably have no idea about. First, Richard Belzer is a big cannabis smoker. The first behind the scenes secret that fans will probably be surprised by is that Richard Belzer is actually a big pot smoker. Who would have thought Detective John Munch was such a big enthusiast of illegal drugs? Richard Belzer, who plays Munch, has a habit of bursting into flames. I never once saw him do a set sober, fellow comic Bill Maher once claimed of Belzer. When Belzer was diagnosed with testicular cancer in 1984, he became interested in marijuana. He's been a proponent of medical marijuana use since then. Iced T's famous on-screen catchphrase became a drinking game. For the past 17 years, Ice-T has played Detective Finn Tutorula on Law & Order SVU. On the program, he's recognized as the straight-talking detective, uses the now-famous statement, that's messed up, on a frequent basis. Ice-T was forced to stop using the catchphrase as spectators began using it as a cue for drinking games. You know what I haven't said? That's messed up in about eight years. After that drinking game got made, the writers got a hold of that and they stopped. So you're not going to get that drunk unless you watch old episodes, said Ice-T. But he did offer up an alternative. There's a better one. Drink whenever someone says, call a bus. According to Ice-T, it's cop lingo for calling an ambulance. Mariska experienced a collapsed lung because of an on-set scene. Mariska Hargitay, who has actually won an Emmy in 2006 for Outstanding Lead Actress in the drama series, and a Golden Globe in 2005 for her role as Detective Olivia. Olivia Benson. Despite the praises, the position has taken a physical toll on her. Hargitay told Red Book Magazine 2009 about sustaining an injury while filming a stunt in October 2008. According to Hargitay, I was doing a stunt chasing a bad guy. I'd always insisted on doing the stunts my own way. Although I don't feel so strongly about that anymore, I jumped and landed on pads. But on the second take, something happened. I just landed wrong. I got up and felt that something inside was not quite right. Hargitay discovered she she couldn't breathe in January 2009 after presuming the damage was mild. Her lung was 50% compressed after an x-ray, necessitating surgery two weeks later. Hargitay had to have surgery again in March after her lung collapsed again after returning to work on SVU. Hargitay, who is now healthy, told Redbook that the whole thing was an eye-opener for her, especially as a mother. Such a crazy story, right? Something we had no idea about while watching the on-screen drama. Chris Maloney left the series because of contract drama. Chris Maloney starred in almost 270 episodes as Olivia Benson's sidekick, Detective Elliot Stabler, beginning with the first episode in 1999. However, according to online sources, he was unable to reach an agreement with NBC executives for a new contract in 2011, and thus decided to leave. Despite the sadness felt by viewers when Andy Cohen asked Maloney if he regretted quitting the show in May 2017, Maloney said, not for a day. Nonetheless, he told the Daily Beast that his departure was not acrimonious, but rather managed poorly. It really was a bummer to see him go, but these things sometimes happen in Hollywood. Law & Order SVU was supposed to be called Sex Crimes. What many viewers may not know about, the show was originally dubbed Sex Crimes to reflect the nature of the crimes that would be depicted on the show. Naturally, the title was changed to Law & Order SVU to reflect the name of the New York City Police Agency that investigates these cases. Many people assume the network altered the title at the last minute because it was too inflammatory for advertisers and viewers. But show creator Dick Wolf denies this. He fought for Law & Order to be included in the title because he believes it would aid the show's popularity. Although producer Ted Kotcheff opposed it because he believed that if SVU failed, it would harm the original series as well. Ice-T was only meant to feature in four episodes total. Ice-T is currently one of the show's longest serving stars, but when he was approached to take over, for Detective Monique Jeffries in 2000, he was hesitant. Not only that, but his cameo was scheduled to be a four-episode appearance. I wasn't trying to do this show because I was operating a record label at the time, and they said, it's only four episodes, and I thought, okay, good. However, at the end of the four episodes, they said, we'd like to keep you on, he explained. There are very few things in the entertainment industry that even faintly resemble security. However, I have to pay the bills. He definitely helps make the show what fans have come to love, and is a central part 
part of the entire series. One certain episode predicted a real-life scandal. The next behind-the-scenes secret that viewers may not be aware of is the fact that one specific episode of Law & Order SVU actually predicted a real-life scandal. Bachelor in Paradise made headlines in June 2017 after a female contestant claimed that a male competitor took advantage of her while she was inebriated. The whole thing was taped, which sparked intense disputes over the producer's responsibility to keep the competitors safe. Surprisingly, in season 17, SVU had already aired an episode called Assaulting Reality, in which a person who's on a reality dating show doesn't remember a taped sexual encounter, leading to charges against the show's production team, featuring ex Alex Mack star Larissa Olinick. SVU preempted questions about the ethics of reality programming in this situation, especially when it comes to sexual encounters, according to a number of sites. The series was based on a real-life murder. Dick Wolf, the show's creator, drew inspiration for the episode from a notorious 1986 case. After strangling a woman, Robert Chambers Jr. claimed they were just having hard sex. This heinous deed inspired Wolf to write a Law & Order episode with a similar topic. Wolf was so troubled by the case that he decided to make a show about it. As a result, according to Wolf, the show, which was originally titled Sex Crimes, focused on problems against women, children, and adults. Cast member Mariska Hargitay is actually a trained rape counselor. Mariska Hargitay's life was revolutionized when she was cast as Detective Olivia Benson on Law & Order SVU. It not only catapulted her into the limelight and boosted her profession, but it also gave her what she refers to as a life goal. Hargitay, like many other fans, is frequently affected by the show's plots and the grim facts that accompany them. When the show first aired, she began getting letters from people who were inspired by it wanted to share their own sexual assault stories. Many of them informed her that the presentation had made a difference in their lives. Hargitay wanted to do more to help, so she went through training and now works as a rape crisis counselor. She also established the Joyful Heart Foundation to assist survivors of sexual assault, child abuse, and domestic violence. They were a real onset family on and off the screen. As much as the show's actors have liked working with celebrity guest stars, the set of SVU has also proven to be a great location to work for celebrities. Viola Davis, who played a defense attorney on the show from 2003 to 2008 and won an Academy Award for it, told Entertainment Tonight that you've always felt like a member of the family. You were absolutely immersed in it. We love to hear this, especially because we absolutely adore the characters and the storyline they've created over the years. There is an unaired episode about Donald Trump. On October 12th, before Donald Trump's victory in the 2016 presidential election, an SVU episode titled Unstoppable was set to air. According to Entertainment Weekly, the episode will follow a politician whose campaign is thrown into disarray after many women accuse him of unpresidential behavior. Does this ring a bell? The show, however, appears increasingly unlikely to run as Vanity Fair revealed in March 2017 that the network has put it back to October 26th and November 16th before pulling it indefinitely. It's now extremely archaic episode about an election a year after an election just seems sort of stupid to show. NBC chairman Robert Greenblatt said in an August 2017 interview with Deadline. So it's safe to assume we'll never see this episode reach the light of day. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Law & Order SVU and some of the biggest behind-the-scenes secrets. Be sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Who's your favorite SVU character? Which one of these secrets surprised you the most? Did we forget any? If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.